Okay, then, so now, snap judgments. Shockwaves of blinding light sweep across the battlefield, leaving only ruination. But with each pulse, more threats appear. Hmm. Let's go. Wee. Yep. Okie dokie. I'm happy with that. Gotta be happy with it. Okay. Lots of cheap monsters. Yep. We'll go with that. Excellent. So I wonder what this encounter is going to be. Uh, swamp. Wasn't expecting that. Let's get in Mr. Intimidate first. <coughs> Presuming uh, he or she has got any white. Or hasn't. As would be preferable. Oh, Bloodgast. I haven't seen him in a very long time. He's been one of my favourite decks, the Vamp decks in the. Uh, Imagine the Gavin online. Yeah, look for that nasty bugger and all. Very nasty bugger. What does the. Uh... Oh, that's haste as long as the opponent has 10 or low. Okay. So, yeah, let's get this dude out. Uh, it can't block, anyway. So, I'm just going to attack for two. I wonder if he's just full of blood casts. And if it is, well. Nah. I might have trouble. Especially if he gets me down to uh, 10. Oh, he's got a planes. Okay. So he's got to attack anyway. More likely. Not going to bother blocking. Okie doke. Ah, now actually one of these might not be a bad idea. Hmm. Yeah, let's stick that one on the one that can't uh, attack. And we'll attack with these two. Actually no, we'll just attack with one. And then we'll uh, attack the other one next turn. Um Okay. I understand why they've done that. Is this all it's gonna be? Just day of judgments even there. Let's get that out. Get a few one ones on the field. Hmm. Another day of judgment, I'm guessing? Oh yeah, of course you get your blood gas back out, of course you do. No day judgment. Okay. You asked for it. I'm just thinking if it's wise to actually bother attacking with all these. They can't they can't block anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna have to. Pretty much. There we go. Great thing about weenies. You can uh, pretty much mass produce them if you're not even doing. Another blood gast. I'm presuming he's not going to play um, day of judgment just yet. So that's going to be yeah, it's fine. I'll I'll actually let that go through. There's a good chance he might cast day of judgment next turn. Oh hello. Yes, why not? Yes, we will take that. Not a mass attack. It means I can actually block now in, in a piece. I can block one of them without uh, suffering too much. Always a good thing. But I am expecting a die judgment. Not going to attack. That's not a surprise. I'm not actually going to play anything. I'm just going to attack with all of them. Well, these anyway. Should I attack with all of them? Hmm, they'll get iced though, wouldn't they? 
we'll just attack with those. And we'll see what happens next turn. Because we've still got safe passage we can use. If anything gets hairy. Yep, I was expecting that. Yeah. So in response to that, I'll play Vares along. Get a few monsters out. There we go. So at least I can attack um, for free next turn. And I can protect myself with uh, self, um, safe passage. But this is presuming uh, he doesn't have another thingy majig. Because if he has another thingy majig, in majig, in majig, uh, I could be in trouble. No. Please no die judgment. Please no die judgment. Please no die judgment. Please no die judgment. Yes, no die judgment. Excellent. It is attacking now, and I am going to skip blocking and use that passage. Yay, I'm safe. Excellent. Now I could have, I suppose I've actually could have blocked there, and still saved my dude and killed one. But it doesn't matter. It, it's it's game. It's game. Interesting uh, philosophy that, but it's too weak, in my opinion. Fearless explorer. What's that? What? How did I get that? You want to look to new avatar? Okay, but how did I get that? It's not going to tell me, is it? Okay, let's go. I wish there was actually a quit button. That would be so helpful. Instead, I just keep doing like this because it's bloody annoying as hell. Okay, okay, Sandra this time. Ready, steady, we. Yep. Okay. Interesting. No, we don't want to hear it. Book her off. Um, hell. Okay, it wasn't letting me skip then, for some reason. There you go, there's the Plains Walker card. You seen it? Good. Let's continue. Excuse me, while I have a drink. Ah, so parched. Anyway. This sounds pretty shit. This sounds pretty shit. But it'll do. Get Evolving Winds out first. Um, what's more important? Get a, get a planes out, I think. Let's get a planes out. There we go. And there we go. So we can get... Flying Exalted. Oh, can't be blocked. Let's get a lifelink crate first, actually. Might as well, while we've got the mana. We can always get Exalted out next turn and then attack with the... Uh, Child of Night. Is it Child of Night? Yes, I was right, Child of the Night. What's that? Okie dokie, haste. And you can pump it up. So, it's not going to attack, that's a surprise. I'd have been worse off if it attacked. Nonetheless. Okay, I'll get these two out. <clears throat> okay. Um, attacking with that would be a pretty uh, good idea, since it will boost itself up from Exalted. Exalted. I love Exalted. Exalted, give me life. Spank yous. Nice uh, playing field there so far, so we're ahead by six, theoretically. That looks mean. A mean machine. It's a pumping main machine. But you need mad to pump it, which they don't have. No, not gonna block. Pointless blocking. And we are screwed. Not quite screwed, but we're close. 
So I'm going to get Spirit Mantle and stick it on that. And I'm going to attack. Because hey, why not? Now it's got protection from creatures that can't be blocked, so I might as well keep gaining 4 life as well as dealing 4 damage, haven't I? Hmm? That allows me to um, keep my monsters out for a bit longer too. I don't have to um, don't have to defend. That does depend if Chandra decides to burn the fucker like um, she has done. Great. Oh well. New war gonna last. And of course the attack for free. And a boost. Now that the AI is um has actually been improved a lot. Excellent. Protection from black exalted, that's a shame. I could have done protection from red there. And that's an exile target creature. Let's get that out anyway. Because we can still attack with our one uh, one one. And it's unblockable. So that's two two. Yay! Got Ch Chandra just over half, uh, just down to over half now. So she's on eleven, and we're still at twenty-two. Oh, the Phoenix. Okay, evil Phoenix. Wait a second. Has that always been four-two? Could have swore that was three-one. Unless I'm thinking about the other Phoenix. Hey ho, get free damage through to me then. There you go. I want to get this beast out, but I'm, I'm, I'm probably not going to get the mana to. Oh yes, please, I'll get that out. Another exalted. Yep. And we get three more damage through. No, I'm probably not going to win by um, by beat by beating her here by damage because she can just attack with all three. So we have to think tactics. What's the best way to do it? And yes, that's probably one of the best ways to give it up by Exalted. She's got an advantage here. She's got ball control and she's got um, more in the hand. She's got hand card advantage too. She's never a good thing. Especially when I'm drawing crap like this. Okay, so we're going to attack with this. And we're going to actually exalt, um, exile, exile all that. Exile, 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 exile. Oh my god. It's all this live comments out and it's given to my bloody head. So we're going to exile it so she can't actually bring it back. Oh. Okay. Yeah, fine. Just, just kill me. It's okay. It's fine. It's fine. Oh dear. Yep, so we'll do that and get rid of that. Bye bye. But now she's going to be doing 3 damage to me each turn, and I'm going to do a 1 to her. I'm, actually, I only need one more land for that. Oh wow, excellent, excellent, yes, yes, yes. Now we're okay. Now we're okay-ish. But we're okay, nonetheless. We start doing 2 damage a turn, and possibly destroy some monsters too. So next turn, if she attacks with those, um, I can... Mm, I might have to block the anti. If she could just attack and oh, she's only attacking me one. She's gonna boost it though, isn't she? What's the best thing to do here? Okay, we're gonna let the damage go through. She's gonna probably try and boost it to six. That leaves me with four. Next turn, I'll use um, I'll use this baby Doom Blade and attack with both for the win. Okay, that's interesting. Okay. So, whenever you cast a black spell, you might destroy a target creature if it's tapped. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to destroy that one. And we're going to destroy that with the Deathbringer Liege's uh, ability. So, there you go. I managed to knock two uh, there with one stone there. And that should be win, unless she has a damage spell to get rid of one of those. Yes, okay. Excellent! 
Brilliant. Did we get anything? Oh, we got another spirit mantle. Um, we will actually check, see if we can um, get rid of that or we'll put something else in or something. 64 cards in the deck. Yeah, I think we'll keep with that. Oh, I'm not really too fussed. Yeah, I'm I'm happy with that. Any more card? What have we got left to unlock? Whenever your creature deals damage to destroy it, oh dear. That's a nice enchantment. Yeah, this is a really nice enchantment. So the wind you keep put a target creature card from a graveyard into the battlefield under your control. Yeah. Very expensive to cast though. Oh, I'm not a fan of that. Um Hmm. So okay. The enchantment eight. I think I think there's already one or two of those in. Protection from black. Prevent all non combat damage that we've dealt to creatures you can trod. Now that is actually pretty damn nice. Another um another unmake there. I think that might be even um Yeah, uh, Vindicate. I love Vindicate. One of my favourite cards in the invasion block. For those of you that can remember that that far back. Okay then guys, I think that's it for now. I'll see you later.